Hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Truce Tower, one of my favorite buildings in Forge Vampires. So this is another video in my Great Building series, and let's talk about the Truce Tower, also known as the TT. Uh, here it is on its Great Building card. Uh, shows you the cool blue building, a little bit of greenery around the base of it, and jump back out, show you here it is in the wild, a nice tall building. Um, you notice I have it on the outside edge. That's because it does... Uh, it is uh, opaque, and it will block what's behind it. So I kind of put some of those taller buildings on the back so I can still get stuff behind it. But that said, um, let's talk about the details on it. So Truce Tower. It is, a, as I mentioned, a tomorrow-era building. The construction costs are 450 375 500 250 and 300 uh, it's a 6x5, so it's kind of that middle range building. It's kind of that middle range cost uh, compared to some of the great buildings leading up to it or around that era. A uh, road is required, and it offers a couple things. One is supply production, but you know that's kind of a dime a dozen because a lot of things offer supplies. The real benefit of this building, and that's what makes it one of my favorites of all times, is the fact that it gives you goods for the, for the uh, players that you polyvate. And I will explain that in just a second here. So that in itself makes this building very unique and very beneficial to get early in early in the game, in my opinion, uh, because it combines uh, an opportunity to set the stage to build other great buildings. And I will create a whole separate video on that strategy. I'll just call it like Truce Tower Strategy Play or something like that, or Play Strategy, something like that. But that will be a separate video. This video is just to introduce the great building. Um, and then when I create that video, I'll put a link down below to go to that also to speak to that. But I'm not going to go that deep into it right now on this video here. But uh, we will talk about what it is and kind of explain how it works. So 24-hour collections, yeah, same deal. You get supplies. Um, that's pretty common with a lot of buildings that offer supplies. Uh, but what this offers is goods. Um, goods from the person or the player that you polybate, meaning you either uh, you visit them, you either polish them or motivate them, whether you do it manually or if you do auto-aid or whatever it's called now. Um, every day you'll get a little collection clock. It will show up here. It's kind of similar to your number of whatevers. You'll see one here and it'll have the number for this um, for this component, if you will. And what it will do is it will count down as you aid members you will pick up a random good from that members or that from that player's era. So, if they're the same era as you, you will get ran, one random good from your era. If they're um, Space Age Mars, you'll get one random good from Space Age Mars. It's random. Sometimes, depending on how many people are in that same era, you may get one of each of five. You may get two of one and one of each of the other three, depending on how all that works. It's totally random. But that's the big benefit here. They just accumulate. They show up in your in your inventory, and you have them. I will speak in the other video what I do with those and how those have helped me in this game. And a little hint, a little teaser, is that with the market, with doing some two-for-one trades, goes a long, long way. Um, so that having some higher member level players helps you really kind of compound that uh, but strategy. But we'll talk about that in a whole separate video. But that's what we have to has to offer here. So at level one, you're getting 12 goods from your contributing era. So let's say you're in a guild, you get some high level members, you're gonna start picking up some random goods out of their era. Uh, let's say you have some real super high level friends in the friends tavern, and you start over there instead. Um, you'll be picking up some of their high, super high level era uh, goods. Um, also, let's say you just want to do your neighborhood because you want to find things for your current era that you need for your day-to-day -day play. Not let's say you're not pursuing great buildings and you just need stuff to unlock the research tree, you could do that as well. So very versatile on what you can do here. So again, level one, very cheap to build. Uh, seven. I mean, really think about it. For a tomorrow era building, it only costs 70 FP to unlock level one. I mean, that's, that's, that's cheap, um, in my opinion. Um, of course, this is all my opinion. <laughs> okay, level level five. If you look at level five, it costs you 380, and then your aid goods, you're getting 27 um, goods per day in the in this collection. And at level 10, you get 39. Level 11, you get 40. So, either way, it really all adds up. You multiply that times a week. I'm not going to do that math in my head, but let's say you do 24 times seven. So what's that? Seven, 14, 140. 
call it 160, 170, give or take, goods per week of random eras. That's a lot of production that you literally didn't do anything for, and you didn't spend anything for, and you just passively collect it as part of your daily collections. So that's why it's one of my favorites. Um, that's it. I'm going to kind of try to keep this one relatively short, as excited as I can get about Truce Tower. I could talk about this building all day long. <laughs> so thanks. Let me know what you think about it. Um, are you all amped up about the Truce Tower like I am, or is it one of those give or take buildings you care really less about? Um, or is it something you ever really thought about? So hopefully, you know, I can kind of give a different angle at it. So, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're interested, please sub consider subscribing, um, liking, commenting, sharing, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So thanks a lot. More videos coming. The Great Building series continues. Plus, I will have other videos um, coming in randomly throughout the week. I'm doing two Great Buildings a week. They release on Wednesdays and Saturdays at noon Eastern time. <laughs> thanks a lot. Have a great day.